Oh it's 70 degrees right yeah, now. it's really, really nice. Wow. Right Can't ask for a better day in Arizona. I mean, it's like no wind. Just a beautiful day to go to the range. Oh, yeah. And that's what we're doing today. We're going to go to the range. We're going to shoot some guns. We're going to pick out the best ones for a hunt that we have. Well, we've got a truck, just a bed full of guns back there, right? Yes. I mean, we've got... A big bore, smallish bore. I think We've mostly got, 25 and up. Do we I have think, 22s yeah. back there too? We do have the 22s. Okay. Um, so we got two 22s and we've got uh, two 25s. We've okay. got a 30 cal, we've got a 35 cal, and we've got a 45 cal. Okay. So we're going to have some fun today. Yeah, and we're getting these set up for going to uh, hunt some prairie dogs. Yep, absolutely. And we're going to the range because... Well, we've well, got to sight our guns. Yeah, and... and and it's an excuse to go. Well, it is an excuse to go shoot stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Rick Hutzer here with Aragon Web and Aragon Web TV. And I'm Aaron the Barbarian with Aragon Web and Aragon Web TV. And buddy, we're starting like a three part series here. Yay. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's talk a little bit about what we got going on. So you see, we got a bunch of guns here. Mm -hmm. and what we want to do is sort of wrap up this year with an overview of some killer air guns, kind of go through all of these, shoot them, figure out which ones we like best. And we're going to take our top choices out to hunt prairie dogs probably later next month when the mm -hmm. weather gets really nice. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, we're gonna go through each one of these guns and everything here brings something different to the table. Yep. And we're gonna set up here, it's kind of a busy day here at the range because it is just gorgeous weather. So we're limited here to really sighting it at 40 yards. Right. But that's gonna give us a really good benchmark of what's gonna give us some really good accuracy. So I yep. think we just need to get to some shooting. Pick one and start shooting yeah. them. All right, guys, stay with us. Really, really cool bunch of episodes coming up. Let's get going. Let's do it. All right, guys, uh, this is Aaron the Barbarian, and I am out here testing some of my favorite guns and a couple of guns that I've never even shot before. Um, and I'm liking all of them. So we're trying to figure out what guns we want to take to the hunt with us. Um, I have my favorite five. Um, Rick has his favorite five. Now I'm just trying to whittle down and see just which ones are gonna be the ones to take. Um, I already know, hands down, I'm gonna be taking the X2 because it has the range. Um, I definitely want the range and the power at the end because prairie dogs are not always gonna get 50 yard shots and less. You're gonna be having to chase them out to 100 yards or more and the X2 will definitely do that. Um, I got the K550 and 30 cal. Um, that's great rifle, it smacks the crap out of them and it has 75 to 100 yard range um, with that power. I also have the Audemars, the M2R um, carbine, um, which is really, really nice. Rick did a lot of really good work on it. The trigger is fantastic. Uh, the scope coordination with it is just awesome. I've also got the Crawl Arms uh, Puncher Mega in um, marine finish and the, uh, the walnut stock, which looks really, really nice. That's actually a brand new gun. We pulled it out of the box yesterday, threw a scope on it, and are out here sighting it ready to go. 22 cal, power, multi-power adjuster, but we find that three-quarter power instead of full power gives us the best range on the, uh, the shot count and the power. Um, that I know is gonna do really, really well. And also the Umarex Gauntlet in 22 cal, which we all know will do fantastic. So uh, let's get started. I'll start with the, the gauntlet at 22 cal and uh, let's see how close we can get it.
Okay. I wasn't even ready for that, but I hit the target right where I wanted it to. Man, that trigger's light. At least I know I'm just left. But it is right there and they're all touching now. Okay, so I'm not inside the actual target I want to be, but all six shots are pretty much in the same hole, about half an inch. About the same grouping as the, uh, as the crawl puncher did. And I am very, very satisfied with that. Right, guys so I've got my five guns here and I'm gonna be starting with the crawl this is the puncher pit bull massive shot count on this gun and so far I've been pretty happy with it the other guns we're gonna be testing we've got the Sumatra 25 we've got the Maxima Thor 25 the Air Arms Ultimate Sporter in 25 and we've got the new Gamo TC in 45 we've got some cool new ammo we're testing these these are from Hunter Supply so are these here are our 25 cal bullets, and out of the Sumatra, we're getting almost 100 foot pounds out of that. And we've got these new 45 cal pellets, 150 grain, and those guys are just smacking like crazy out of a Gamo 2C. So I need to go ahead and load up. For the 22, I'll be running the 18.13s. All right, and there.
Yeah, and that's sort of what we've come to expect with the air arms. It just carved out a tiny little hole. Probably cover that with a nickel. <laughs> you come off the small board gun, you're shooting all the light stuff, and then you grab this, it reminds you that you're shooting something of substance. <laughs> that's great. That took me by surprise there for a minute. Making some big holes in it, Aaron. That's a gun you really got to hang on to. Yeah, and uh, it's not like shooting small bore where you sort of let everything float. You actually want to, yeah, you, hold it you want to grip it and like really get a good hold on it. Pretty impressive, man. Now these pellets are still prototypes. I got these uh, in supply when they were still doing their testing. These are what the final pellets are based off of, but he had just got his new molds in, so these are sized not perfect, but the new ones are dead on. And even with these being a little bit variant, I mean, look at that really what we want to see. Yeah. So a little adjustment on the scope. Now we've shot this, how many, how many shots was that? Five shots so far? Five or six, five shots? There's a bunch, okay. So plus we did all the sighting in before and you fill these up to 250 bar. So we're sitting at shot 10 or so, maybe 10 or 12. And we've still got 150 bar in the gun. So you're looking at probably 20 shots out of this. And that's running full power. You could run half power or low power. Is a little, you know, it's one half, but you can run on low power and even get more shots. I bet you could stretch the 30 shots out of this. Um, and that's out of a big bore and you're pushing, I haven't cronied these. Well, no, that's not true. 150 grain, 960 feet per second. We'll have to do the math and put it up here. But that's a ton of energy. I bet you it's close to 300 foot pounds. Um, just really impressive. Well, I got one more bullet, so I guess we'll have to just shoot it. Oh well. I think what I'll do though is I will go ahead and go up a couple clicks and to the right, a couple clicks. And I think that will put me about. Want to be here. Yeah, right on the red. So I think we are good to go with this rig. Gamo TC definitely going to be the top of my list for this prairie dog hunt. Massive shot count, massive power and range on this I know is 100 yards plus because I've already done the testing. Just an impressive air gun. Well, now we got to make some hard choices, Aaron. All right, well, we got some uh, interesting results. We did, some we expected, yep. some we didn't expect. Yeah, I but mean, that's the air arms, we knew that that we was We expected drill that it. one, yeah. absolutely. Um, unexpected for you, what, what caught, your, caught your attention? Probably the crawl, I mean. Yeah, did awesome, did <laughs> Shazam. I mean, I mean, it was a little bit lower than I wanted, but all of the shots are right there. Yeah. I mean, and you had the exact same scenario with the air arms. Yeah. Um, they're all right there, but they're right where you wanted them to be. Um, another probably uh, surprising one, I mean, not really surprising, was the K550, which is down here. I mean, it's way off to the left and just a little down from where I wanted it, but they're and that's, all. That's 85, 90 foot pounds. Mm -hmm. That is like a no joke. 
Yeah. Predator, you know, it, it'll serious gun. Yeah. Yes, I mean, that's, yeah, absolutely. A, that's the real deal. Absolutely. And of course, you got the 35. The 35 cal, which yeah. just, it did its job. So for me, I've got this Sumatra 25 cal with the cast bullets, which yeah. never had shot those before. Mm -hmm. First time putting it on paper, actually, we shot some clay pigeon fragments just to sight it in, basically. Yeah. And that's what I'm getting for groups out of that? I'll take oh, that. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Easily. Um, if that's, for, you know, 100 foot pounds. Exactly. 90 to 100 foot pounds in a 25 cal with cast bullets. That's impressive. Oh, they've got the S510, which we knew was just going to be awesome. Laser was, beam, yep. That was great. Now, the TC. Look at those know, fat holes, man. I know, I know, those big fat holes. But down here was the group, right? Right. That I shot initially, and then I adjusted the scope and just drilled out the and center. And smacked right into the So middle. that one is going to be yours. I cannot wait. Okay. And we did the math, by the way. So we we're did. looking at 313 to 315 foot pounds. Which is <laughs> well more than enough for what yeah. we're going for. Out of a pellet, mm -hmm. 45, high shot count. Yeah, I'm thinking this thing is going to be just awesome. So I've got what I'm taking, the Gamma TC. Mm -hmm. Sumatra 25 and the Air Arms S510. You've got the? I've got the X2 Sniper in 35 cal. I've got the K550 in 30 cal and the Crawl Puncher Mega yep. in 22. I think we've got a great selection. We do. We have a little bit of everything. We've got 22 all the way up to 45 cal. All right, all right so guys, now you got to wait for the next episode, which mm -hmm. we're going to be taking these out, hitting the road, and we're going to be doing a little prairie dog. I guess that's it. My name is Rick Utzer here with Aragon Web and Aragon Web TV. And I'm Aaron the Barbarian with Aragon Web and Aragon Web TV. Thanks for watching.